popcorn bottles. <laughs> I feel stupid. <laughs> I'm stupid. <laughs> I'm waiting for the day that like something like really fucking tragic happens in the moment, but we have to finish recording. So I just I have bottles. Bot bottles. <laughs> Your mom got into a tragic car accident. She didn't make it. I'm I'm bottles. Bottles. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. That's upsetting. <laughs> <laughs> that's mild. That's mildly disappointing. And it's happening to me of all people. <laughs> and <laughs> Brian's good, but I saw some tactical weaknesses there, which I think we can exploit for the next trivia night. He seemed weak on literature. I think if we can establish ourselves early on, it would hurt them morally. Team morale. I'm not changing my sentence. <laughs> <laughs> I love that I'm having these mistakes with the fucking English teacher. <laughs> Maybe if we get them more focused on the cheese than winning. You're all right. Next time we'll be prepared. Shame about that one wrestling question, though. I'm not kidding. I plan to write a strongly worded letter to whoever employed that man. Oh, good. Get him fired. That'll cheer him up. Come on. There's got to be a story there. I wanted to check the time. <laughs> oh, what do you mean? <laughs> you didn't even stop to think. You pulled that wrestling knowledge out like you were there at the ring yourself. Oh, it's just stuff I know. Should we ask again? Or should we drop it? Ask again. I want to get to know you, Hugo. Like, get to know your soul. <laughs> It's not just going to blow your mind. It's going to blow your soul. <laughs> you know, I figured you'd be better at lying after dealing with every kid in school for as long as you have. I, uh, it's embarrassing. Press on. Ask again later. You know what's actually embarrassing? Not being able to explain basic algebra to your daughter. You know what's definitely not embarrassing? Knowing stuff about wrestling. Hugo sighs. <sighs> Oh! oh God! Oh Jesus! He's so hard. He j he just fucking came in his bed. All right, all right. If you really want to know, just follow me. Just Set me free. He like, puts like, on a fucking luchador mask. This is my real face. <laughs> <laughs> this he is me. Hugo leads me to his house at the edge of the cul-de-sac. We step inside, and his house is exactly what I expected it to be. Neat and filled top to bottom with books and art. Uh, welcome to my home. Sorry, it's messy. His house is actually spotless. I follow him down a hallway. What are we doing? Hugo opens the door <laughs> and ushers off me his clothes, puts on a luchador mask, and just fucking... <laughs> just fucking tackles. Da, 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 da. <laughs> Hugo opens the door and ushers me inside. It's pitch black. He closes the door behind us. Oh my Hugh god. Hugo flips the switch and I finally understand. Curio cabinets packed with in-box wrestling action figures line the walls. Along with posters, cardboard cutouts, and every piece of wrestling memorabilia imaginable, a giant widescreen TV sits on a decked-out media stand. I'm speechless. I look over at Hugo, who's hovering by the door, doing everything to avoid eye contact. It's... Uh... This is really embarrassing. This is the coolest thing I've ever seen. Make it feel good. Are you kidding? Look at all this stuff! This must have taken you forever to collect! Can I touch this? Go ahead. I pick up one of his replica championship belts and toss it over my shoulder. Do you smell what I'm cooking? I didn't do it right. Do you s uh, what would you I think the line is- oh, here we go. It's me, Bob. Me off, <laughs> Sorry, I don't watch a lot of wrestling. I just think it's cool how passionate you are about this. I kind of wanted to do it. 
Oh, uh, yeah, I, um, I really, really like wrestling. He's blushing so hard right now. <laughs> Hugo, you bought the wrong kind of... I forgot my voice for it. It's just higher-pitched Gordon Ramsay. Oh, is it? Yes. <laughs> Hugo, you bought the wrong kind of pizza rolls again. Looks like Ernest just got home. He's yelling in from the hallway. I can see Hugo immediately deflate. <laughs> I told you, those pizza rolls have less sodium. I just want you to be healthy, son. Ernest comes into Hugo's wrestling room and looks around with disgust. He notices me and scoffs. I thought nobody was allowed in your precious wrestling room. I never said that. <laughs> Going right into it. It's <laughs> I just said you're not allowed to take the action figures out of their boxes and pose them so that they're having sex with each other. <laughs> Ernest gets flustered. Yeah, well, whatever. I'm gonna go throw eggs at stuff. Have fun with your stupid wrestling crap. Ernest leaves, then a moment later pops his head back in the room. And your stupid friend! Ernest storms back out of the room. I hear a door slam. Hugo rarely runs his hand through his hair. Sorry about him. It's sorry that I have to keep apologizing about him. He's just going through a phase, I guess. I try so hard to impress him, but it's obvious that no matter what I do, he hates me. Ernest has a thing against authority figures, and you don't get much more authoritative than a teacher dad. My ex. He gets to be the fun weekend dad, and I'm just Hugo, who makes Ernest eat his vegetables and turn his homework in on time. Hey, you love him, and you're out. You're looking out for his best interest. Take it from one dad to another. Someday, he'll come to appreciate you. You know, if he's a real wrestling fan, why doesn't he... Why doesn't why does he, he just chokeslam his what? son into submission? <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, why doesn't he just sit on a fucking steel chair all the time so he can whip it out at his son? Hey! Colin! <laughs> Maybe not someday soon, but someday. I hope so. Thanks for letting me vent. Hugo glances at his watch. Suppose it's getting kind of late. Let's do trivia again sometime soon. I would absolutely love to. I start to leave. And hey, thanks for showing me your wrestling stuff. Maybe you can tell me some more about it next time. Hugo smiles. That would be amazing. I'll catch you around. It only takes me a minute to walk back home. Amanda's sitting on the couch reading a book about female photographers. Wow, I thought you didn't like reading. I don't. This book is all pictures. And even them, and even then my patience is being tried. Did you get to eat all the cheese your little heart desired? I am a happy little cheese monster. But I made sure to leave room for dinner. Who wants breakfast for dinner? Hash browns! Ugh! <laughs> okay. <laughs> Toast dipped in egg! Alright. <laughs> Blueberry pancakes! Well, only if you'll help me make them. You know I'm the world's best blueberry sprinkler. And also totally amazing at heating up the maple syrup in the microwave. Oh yeah, heat up my maple syrup. Did I say maple? <laughs> yes. <laughs> maple, my maple syrup. <laughs> Tell me all about that cheese board. Amanda and I spend the evening <laughs> cooking broad. an elaborate breakfast with everything we can find inside of the fridge. I tell her all about the trivia, but leave out the parts about Hugo being into wrestling. I figured she would probably find some nefarious way to use that information for a better grade. She just goes up and like, You can't. <laughs> da -da 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 -da. Lots of bowling that we didn't do. How uh, about it's a quiz bowl? <laughs> a. It was exemplary. He said I was exemplary. <laughs> Don't push your luck. Asiago get her. Well, we'll see you guys next time for half of a date. On bottles. <laughs> half a date? <laughs> Only half. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>